hello hello dears and welcome welcome back to the latest spain news update and of course benidorm news update every monday and friday here on the channel benidorm by anna you're able to see all the recent updates all the news everything you should know about here on the channel or with us in the latest video so stay tuned up until the end today we'll be talking about the situation in tourism about some festivities and events this weekend that you're able to go to and also about a situation in Benidorm tram which is a train that goes either from Benidorm towards Alicante or from Benidorm towards Denia there's going to be some last minute changes that you need to know in case you will be here in the area we will be talking about the very interesting trial very interesting change in some specific hotels in Benidorm where they implemented a brand new system with robots to clean guest service and help in the restaurant and we'll see how it actually went and which hotels have this service in case you're curious or in case you're coming to one of them and the last news will be about a giant building work I'm not sure if i can actually catalog it as a building work because it's the road itself in Benidorm that will change the landscape forever and will have a brand new and better access to the Levante side of Benidorm town and as usual towards the end of today's video we'll let you know the weather forecast for the next week in Benidorm town and there's going to be quite a lot of changes and even some rain so we'll see how it goes temperatures will actually be quite surprising let's go first things first situation update in Benidorm in terms of tourism as we all know tourists keep arriving the city is pretty much alive right now there's a lot of people on the Levante beach promenade on the beach itself in the old town in Rincon de Lloyd, everywhere you go and the Sunday's market and Wednesday's market are extremely busy these days it's bizarre how many people are here in town right now obviously there's going to be even more people this weekend because starting from yesterday evening and today is actually the first official day we celebrate elvis weekend in benidorm it's been happening for more than a decade already and each year it's bigger and bigger involving the benidorm palace and quite a few bars and pubs in rincon de Lloyd plus the hotel melia benidorm just yesterday we've published you a full video a full guide with the Elvis weekend 2024 in Benidorm town and in one specific part of the video by Sinatra's premium bar you have the full program that you can scan if you want you can make a screenshot and program like this where you would like to go during this event obviously in some parts it's only accessible with bracelets but other parts especially from 11 p.m you can freely access and enjoy the Elvis weekend apart from that up until 21st of april which is going to be this sunday we continue with jornadas de atun which is the tuna week it's when in 13 different establishments that you can see on the visit benidorm website 13 establishments uh, will provide us either menus tapas or plates full meals where tuna is going to be the big star and it's going to cost you way less than it should normally cost if not for this special celebration week so try it out if you love seafood if you love tuna try it out 13 different places and you will be able to enjoy an authentic spanish food here in the region i know a lot of you love spanish food and you love to discover great places to enjoy it in benidorm town and surrounding area these will be the two main events right now very very soon we also have the hotel bali vertical climbing up the stairs up until the top towards the viewpoint this viewpoint is gorgeous if you're afraid of heights probably it's not for you because it's slightly too much even for us but it's a great event it's a fun event it's a fun activity sports activity and you can even sign up directly at the hotel but just come slightly in advance and um I'm sure a lot of you already let us know that you will be in the Hotel Bali competition this year. The second news I wanted to share with you all is about quite a few places in Benidorm 
that have been trying the robots and cobots, like collaborating uh, robots, in Benidorm Town. First of all, Benidorm Town is pioneer in a lot of things, and this time it's no exception. Benidorm was the first one to try it out, and now the idea is to try it in more different places all around Spain. So there is one particular hotel chain that was doing it, which is Magic Costa Blanca. Of course, I'm not surprised. And they've tried it in three different hotels. One of them is Villa del Mar in Benidorm, which is at the Poniente Beach. The other one is Magic Natura Lodge Resort, which is situated right by the theme park Terra Natura and Aqua Natura. Plus the Magic Robin Hood, which is technically situated outside Benidorm, going towards our touristic village of Albir. And these three places have been trying out some robots. This is the picture of one of them is in the restaurant, which helped with beverages, helped with snacks, with drinks, recollecting plates. And the other one is actually the cleaning robot, because the cleaning service is also the one housekeeping was also trying them out, which is actually quite interesting and strange, I must say. Because I'm quite sure these robots cannot do a lot of the things that housekeeping service usually does inside of the apartments. After trying these out, this national pilot project, this was a brand new project that was here for about 9-10 months, about, about right now. And the results are quite promising. They actually say that these robots are able to clean the rooms in 40% less of time than the usual housekeeping. I must say that these robots, while sure, they can uh, take the dust, they can clean the mud, they can clean the floors, you know, everything, swap, mop, um, like clean the floors with water as well and products. Yes, sure. But robots will not be able to lift up the mattresses, put the sheets on the bottom, you know, put the bed as it needs to be put. They are not able to do a lot of things that a person will be able to. So in this sense, I definitely feel like the robots will help a lot to a lot of housekeeping workers and they need help desperately because they have a lot of health issues afterwards as per their professional work. Due to that, this is the main cause, you know, they have a lot of hernias, a lot of problems with hands, with the nerves in their hands as well. So next time when you see a housekeeping worker, when you're coming on holidays, don't be so harsh. They have an extremely tough job i i know what i'm talking about throughout all these 10 11 years and knowing a lot of housekeepers in the area it's their conditions their working conditions a lot of the times are so bad you cannot imagine how many rooms they need to clean in one single day and it's way above the amount required so be gentle don't be harsh on them and if you like what they are doing, you can leave them a teeny tiny tip, even if it's just one euro, you know, even just even if it's candy, like, you know, chocolate, something for them to feel more valued. Because a lot of companies that these people are working for do not value these workers, not even a tiny bit. And any kind of help for them with these robots or with something else will be really, really much appreciated. So I'm happy this is being uh, trialed right now. I'm happy this is being checked if it's actually going to be working or not. And at least to mop the floors, at least to clean something, to dust something, any kind of help will be more than uh, welcome. Let us know if you've been to some hotels that actually do have this type of robot cobot service. And if not, would you be curious to try some of these? Because these three hotels do have the trial period implemented and you might see one of these buddies around the resort anytime soon this year 2024 and the last news that i wanted to share with you all is about a massive a giant giant humongous change on the roads in benidorm town you all know already by now probably if you follow us for quite some time that benidorm will have a huge expansion in rincon de Roig on the Levante side, right next to the Sunday's market, which also will disappear for when this plan will be taking place. It will be moved to a different part, somewhere nearby, hopefully, hopefully. And this part will have more than 20 skyscraper hotels, a lot of residential buildings, 
either short-term or long-term residential buildings. A lot of green areas, swimming pools, maybe some ponds with ducks and uh, other type of marine life creatures. And it's going to be a huge deal for Benidorm Town. There's going to be the hospital, the private hospital nearby, the IMED, will also be duplicating its two buildings now instead of one because there actually is a necessity short mid or long term i would better say necessity to cater for even more people in this area once these buildings will be in place in rincon deloitte so with all this being said these massive changes as you can see right here on the screen will be affecting the national road in benidorm towards the levante side there's going to be a lot of new roundabouts. There's going to be a tunnel that is identical to the one situated right next to the tram station in Benidorm, which is also brand new on the Avenida Beniarda. And there's going to be an easier access towards the Levante side. It will cost around 20 million euros. And we would think that, oh, it's just a road. It's going to be quick to do it. No, this huge project, all of it will be finished by summer but not this year, summer 2025. This project will also bring the roads towards the future new shopping mall in Benidorm. Hopefully, they're going to be having Lefties or Primark or something like this, something different from what the Finistrad shopping mall La Marina already has to offer. By the way, we have some videos about it. Check it out here on the channel. Just put Benidorm by Anna shopping mall or La Marina shopping center and the video will pop up immediately in your search so there's going to be a brand new shopping mall not just yet once the roads are finished and once the brand new part of Rincon Deloitte is built and functioning that is when the shopping mall will appear and also there's going to be Poligono Industrial y Comercial a commercial big area outside the town probably maybe to buy some furniture maybe Carrefour maybe some some different shops big shops you know for uh maybe supermarkets as well extra ones of the ones we already have something to be more convenient maybe even ikea will be there that would be great because we don't have any we just have it in murcia and then in valencia ikea in benidorm will be so great oh please ikea if you see it please build an ikea outside benidorm that would be a huge help for a lot of people who live in this region because Murcia is too far away and Valencia as well. We need an IKEA in our area. I'm sure quite a lot of people would agree with me too on this. So this is a huge project and um, very necessary. All the area of uh, nightclubs, you know, the area where all the old nightclubs are located, Penelope KM, some um, dancing clubs. It's one of the main entries towards Benidorm and it doesn't look nice any longer. It's too old. There's a lot of things there, a lot of garbage, a lot of litter. So all this part will transform completely too. And it will be nice. I'm quite sure in a few years time, we will see this area completely transformed, completely different, and we will be happy that it changed that way. Obviously, this is also one of the reasons when we do have occasional fires in Armaneo, in the area of Rincon Deloitte, close to the market and the national road, because people who still live there, a lot of the times illegally, a lot of the times it's not their property, just don't want to go out of there, because they live in huge mansion houses, right in the heart of Benidorm almost, without even paying a dime a lot of the times. So that is why we have these fires. There is a lot of control over it right now, knowing what it can cause. And we just need to wait a few more years. And obviously, Benidorm will be even better than it is already. And now, last but not least, the weather forecast in Spain for the next week. This night, I think it was raining because when we went to Benidorm, everything was humid. There were even water on the road. So obviously, it had to be raining we missed it we didn't hear it but it was raining in Benidorm town here in our region it wasn't in Albir it wasn't raining at least we do not see any kind of drops nothing at all on the streets by now it was cloudy it was quite cold right now the sun is starting to come out so I do feel the temperatures will be slightly better but it was really really cold when we started this video just uh, a few minutes ago and 
this type of weather is going to be really strange i must say this night it was raining it was cloudy now it's going to be some sunshine but then clouds will come again and all these next couple of days it will be more or less the same clouds sunshine sunshine clouds back and forth non-stop however on monday and probably tuesday first part of the day we will have some more rain here in the region it might change because there are still a few days before that time but as for now monday and tuesday should be at least some rain and a lot of clouds in the region of benidorm alicante probably all this part of the mediterranean sea starting from then it will be sunny back again so no worries just one maximum two days of rainy weather if that the temperatures are quite surprising we got to have almost 30 degrees here the past weeks it was so so warm so so nice we took already all the summer clothes already all the summer accessories shoes etc and now it's slightly more chilly back again now we have between 19 and 22 degrees during the day when the sun comes out it's very nice on the sun but it's cold in the shade uh, and especially mornings and evenings it's when it's slightly more uncomfortable but like this during the day you are able to go outside you don't need any kind of winter jackets nothing like this and there's a lot of people still on the sunshine on the beach uh, even right now in mid-april the temperatures the next few days obviously with the rain it's going to be slightly less 18 19 degrees but then it will be back to 22 23 which is still not bad and in may obviously temperatures have to be slightly higher for the month of may we predict around 24 26 a lot of the times because by june we have to hit 26 minimum here in the region so may should be the month when temperatures will finally shift towards the summer ones and will not drop up until october or november months even this is it for today's latest benidorm news update wish you an incredible weekend enjoy if you are on holidays stay safe be careful and we'll see you in a new video here on the channel probably tomorrow bye geez.